Hey guys, this is Scott again of Personality Growth, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between an INFP and an INFJ. So if you're uh, stuck in between trying to figure out which type you are, uh, this video will kind of help break it down a little bit better. First of all, I just want to start by saying that the INFP and INFJ are actually very um, distinct when you break them down into uh, the cognitive functions you'll see that the um, INFP and INFJ actually do not share any cognitive functions so once you start to understand um, that a little bit more you could definitely decipher between the two to figure out which type you are okay for the INFP their first function is introverted feeling and now this function basically they um, take everything in based on how they feel about things uh, how they perceive the world um, you know just saying uh, interpreting something and saying is that me or is that not me and if it's them you know they're more attracted towards uh, things that they feel um, strongly towards and uh, kind of push away other things that they don't believe um, you know resonates well with them so it's always kind of a um, system of filtering out what how they feel and what they what they like and what they think and you know they just want to you know keep that all together and just kind of um get a understanding of the world and uh understanding themselves a little bit better and also for the INFP their second function is extroverted intuition and now um that means that the INFP uh sees the world with multiple different possibilities they see you know what can be and what what is possible they uh, really when they develop this function they really take the time to get into other people's shoes and see where they're coming from so instead of just their own feelings and convictions they could uh, see that what works for them might not work for other people uh, and yeah so those are the first two main functions of the INFP just to give you an idea if you go to my site uh, I'll break that down even a little bit more into all their functions so yeah you could just go ahead and check that out at personalitygrowth.com and uh, but yeah, also moving on to the INFJ. The INFJ, their primary function is introverted intuition or NI. And now this function uh, deals primarily with gut feelings and just interpreting the world, seeing what is in there, what what um, might be going on behind the scenes, you know, um, what can't be said, you know, just kind of like an overall aura of, of events and what's going on so yeah the INF INFJ kinda just, for example the INFJ you know might hear somebody say how are you and the other person says you know doing great but you know that's just socially acceptable to say the INFJ might uh, you know take that information and say you know what's really going on here they seem kinda off uh, body language wise the tone that they set it in and uh, it's not really something that they could pinpoint as one thing it's just the overall feel that's saying hey I think there's something you know going on with with this and I think something seems a little bit off today so yeah that's that's basically uh, introverted intuition and uh, the INFJ's second function is extroverted feeling and this function deals primarily with understanding others emotions and uh, just the dynamics of any any situation that they're in they could really you know come into a room and kind of just sense what everyone's feeling the mood and um, they're also very good at kind of influencing the mood of a situation so if a lot of people are down they could be real good at bringing bringing it up and stuff and a lot of INFJs actually make some good uh, motivational speakers because of their ability to you know get people going and you know bring them up and get them motivated and that's just a strength of the extroverted feeling function and like I said with the INFP uh, if you want to learn more about the INFJ you could check out my site I break down the INF, uh, INFJ in more uh, more specifically and uh, I'll link that below and also um, if you have any questions still about which type you think you are just go ahead and comment below and I'll be sure to answer and also I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because uh, I'll be posting a lot more videos on Myers-Briggs as well as uh, some more um, 
self-growth and self-development videos uh, that I think you'd be interested in. So yeah, uh, looking forward to hearing from you.